Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pyre. Now, last time, we were going to join our fellows in the wagon after learning how to do the rites. So we're gonna do that right now instead. Let's get in there. Wow. Downside Prairie. Even though this is supposed to be like a wasteland, that is just gorgeous. You arrive in Downside Prairie where the road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. Downside Prairie, one of the Downside's only verdant regions. It only gets less hospitable the further you press north. Well, that makes sense. I'm telling you, we ought to take the Northern Pass. Got an associate holed up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to besides. Hollow Root. The northern route to the Ridge of Gull goes through a small exile encampment. Every so often, tempests come and scour away the huts and hovels, but they always crop back up. Interesting, okay. Toss it. Fly on your associate. Best we head to Blooming Pool and avoid attention. The southern route to the Ridge of Gull goes through a humid area pocked with hot springs. Run off from the sandfolds mean no bathing in the springs, so they're just there to mock you. Interesting, so we get to take branching paths. I get stuck in a bog while we at it. The dispute continues as Headwind listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? She marks the way, we get us there. If the rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing her along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. You may now choose a route toward your goal at certain junctures. Well, let's weigh the options here. Hollow root or blooming pool? Rare flora here. Jodariel thinks she can find. Or we go through here to find uh, someone Rookie knows who owes him. Hmm. This seems less scary, but I like how this looks down here. Let's go to Blooming Pool. And we're off. Jodariel offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she notices you staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon, something catches her eye. Super enough. Observe. This shall pay for half our trip. You found a black bloom. It is quite valuable. Trade item. Can be sold at the slug, slug market. Value 30. Blossoms at specific times. While bitter at first, the taste of the black bloom makes all the pain go away. It's a drug? Mmm. Don't know how I feel about that. But let's press on. Black Wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gaul. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. Okay. Page revealed, the first exile. Yeah, so it looks like we can make some preparations first before we do, so let's do that. See if there's anything to talk to. The book is all sparkly. The floor is sparkly. Jody's throw rug, fashioned from a howler hide, sends their ilk a clear message. Jojario says not to step on it. Hedwin's cooking tins. A passive for cooking supplies in the downside. Hedwin does most of the cooking. He's out training at the moment. Symbol set into the wagon's floorboards. The Book of Rites describes the need for such a thing. Speaking of the Book of Rites, let's take a look at that. Oh, we have a new page. Hell yeah. You know, perhaps, the thrice-cursed name of Solomur, the Emperor of Ser, the First Exile, and my liege. This is the chapter of the First Exile of Golgolathian, the Master General. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. 
Each of us was sent to take his life, and such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet, we found in Solium Mur a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit. A man deserving of much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my great honor to now share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Interesting. Wow. Look at that artwork. The Emperor's Fall. A little more plot. Cool. Greentail family portrait. A reasonable likeness of a younger rookie with his mother and uncle. Aw. That's cute. Let's talk to Jody. She seems to have something on her mind. Rita. Greentail here was just complaining how you opted not to take us up on Hollow Root. What? And violate our anti-second guessing pact? Nah, I was only saying how our sister's gonna have to keep on making the tough calls. Besides, just making sure we got something to pawn off at the next slug market we find. Something And we have. Now let us focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination and have much left to prepare before tonight. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raiments and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. I mean, I, I, I guess I can see why he's upset. Old raiments, common room. I don't think there's much left to do in here. Let's try our first right. You reached the celestial landmark. Now every, get everything and everyone prepared. <laughs> As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the rendiments of the right. The preparations are set, however, everything is still in calm. Soon they grow less. Keep telling you there's nothing here. What a bunch of idiots we are. Something us. We traveled all this way for nothing. I don't think we did. Look up. Look at that. The goal of each rites is to extinguish the adversary's pyre using the celestial orb that falls from the sky. Frida, the stars align at last. You reach the ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is ready. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Whosoever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rites commence. Oh, just like that? Oh. Okay. The stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your companions appear several others also clad in raiments. Your adversaries in the rights. Everyone ready? Let's hope so. Be still. We have a visitor. The one whom she refers to steps forward. At last, the Nightwings grace us with their presence. I see that the reports of your demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you are gone for good. No one moves except for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lendil again? He is the apparent leader of the exile triumvirate you encountered at the Ridge of Gold. I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Now, I and the accusers shall repay that affront. Their leader harbors ill will for something he thinks you did. Did we stop him before? We'll stop him again. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch the Book of Rights and focus on the task at hand. Let's go! Begin! <laughs> Oh no! Come on, rookie! Get it! Oh. 
Ooh, you gotta be quicker than that. Oh shit. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Come on, rookie. Yeah, there it is. I think they have. The orb. <laughs> the narrator's hilarious. The orb. Onward, thus to greater glory. Damn right. No, I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers. Stand your ground. Let your auras boil in rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Then we'll just have to run more circles around them. Hold the have fling you any the idea what that Lendl did yeah. to deserve his exile? Hmm? Huh? A daring display. Flinging the orb into the flames like that. You elude banishment using such tricks. Oh. All for naught. Oh, he got me too. Oh, damn, Jody's slow. Demon? Is she? What? Oh, come on. That was close. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I got you. Nope. Not today, boyo. Shit. <laughs> Maybe today, boyo. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yes. Ah, yes. Come on, Rookie. You, you the man. Got him. The orb is up. Get him. Yeah. Sublime. There it is. Sublime. 15 left. All right, Headwind. You're up, my man. like that and we are finished here. Quench now their fire. Shit. <laughs> Got him. A mere attempt. But a good one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he got me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Jody. Thank you. Now, toward their flames. Get it, get it, get it. Got it. Got it. And there it is. You have prevailed. Hell yeah. Rejoice then in your single fleeting victory. Untouched flame. Guron Salashe. Your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness, and when next we meet, you will rue the day. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. Mm. We Only the enlightened nice than this. can regain their freedom. No, you are strange. Just listen to that music. This is my favorite track out of the whole game. Choose a mastery. Of the fallen emperor and boons of the first exile. Oh, double rush. Oh, bloody. Instantly recovers all her stamina after banishing an adversary. Ooh. That, that is like a double rush, though. Ugh. It's tough.
I think I gotta go with this. The demon scribe bestows his favor. Cool. Sorry, just had to listen to that music for another moment. We'll continue. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon, in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. That was cool. That was fun, too. That I wasn't expecting it to be that difficult. Well, my friends, what can I say? The rights are real, and we're in. They're getting out of here, club. Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars till we're free. Conceal Tavidias. Until we are free. Conceal Tavidias. Until we're free. Yeah, yeah, sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lendo back there. Cold-mannered head of the accusers and bears an old grudge against the Nightwings. Lendo the liar. Anyway, guess we better stop hacking. As the others go about their business, Headwind turns to you. Reader, come walk with me while the stars are still out. Okay. You and Headwind walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions. Come, ask away. We need you in on this for the long haul. Edwin wishes to know if anything is troubling you. Oh, we get to pick lore. Why can't I conduct the rites myself? How we got the wagon, why he was exiled. What happens if you refuse? I kind of want to know why he's here. You ask Edwin what he did to get sentenced to living in the downside. He maintains eye contact and his smile. Some data. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that and many other things. Make you a deal. Read the stars for us again, and I'll tell you all about it on the way. You sense he speaks truly as he beckons toward the fighting dark above. You gaze at the stars. Let's seek out the destination. So that was Gull, the South Star. That's definitely our next... Destination. Scorpus, the olden star. Star of the old cutter. Those born under it are wiser than most. But we are going to Jomur, the dusk star. The dusk star burns bright over an ancient spring in Jomur Valley. Let's go. Ooh, icky scorpion thing. That's a long way north and west. We'll see if this old wagon's fit for it. Then he turns to the others. How's it going, Rookie? Gims fed, wheels clean. Status Jody? No sign of Paulus. Everything is secure. Good. Then let's get some rest. We're headed to the springs of Jomir. At dawn, we're off. The Alpha Chief hoped bathing here would cure his ailments, but it only made him itch. Nice. And we're going to continue on that journey next time. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, leave us a like, comment, throw us a subscribe. Who knows? This game is cool. I'm already getting a taste for doing those rights, and I kind of want to get on to the next one. Uh, so I might keep going, but not in this episode. We will see you next time. Again, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>